Hello guys, welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video I will show you how you could, you could easily uninstall Norton security from your Windows computer. To do that, there are two easy ways. The first one through the control panel and the second one using the settings. So one of the things which you want to check, you want to check if your Norton security is working or not. Click on the little arrow which shows the hidden icons and make sure that your Norton security is disabled. That's for one. For two, you maybe want to open your task manager by clicking on the taskbar with the right button of the mouse and check press anywhere or click anywhere and press the letter N on your keyboard and try to find if Norton is running. If yes, then just click on it and click end task and this should end Norton task on your task manager. Next step, you can go ahead and close your task manager. You will need to go to the search tab and you type control panel. The, when this little, little icon appear, you can click on it and the control panel will appear. If you have different view, like for example by small icons or even large icons, then it's suitable to change to category so that you are able to follow with us this video. Next step, we will click on programs and then we will click on and install a program. The next step, you click anywhere and you press the letter N on your keyboard and try to locate Norton software. Once you locate it, click with the left button with the right button of the mouse and select uninstall or change. Windows will ask you if you really want to allow this application to change to make changes to your device. Go ahead and click yes. The next step will be that uh, and if you really, uh, Norton will ask you if you really want to uninstall, you can just go ahead and click please remove all users data. If this, you have tried it and it didn't work for you, then you can go for the next step. And the next step will be that you go again back, you click on the window sign, you click on the next to the power option and you select settings or just type easily settings and this should open the settings for you. Next step, we will look for applications. Here we go, and we click on it to open. Here on the scan list, we are going to type Norton. There we go, Windows has located Norton, you click on it, and Windows will offer you the option to uninstall it. This will force the uninstallation of Norton. You click and you click again on uninstall. Windows again will ask you if you want really to allow this application to make changes to your device, you can go ahead and click yes. The next step, I will just go ahead and click please remove all users data. Here we are going to click on next. If you want to tell them why you want to remove it, you can go ahead, but we'll just click next. You will need to wait between 1 to 5 minutes to even 10 minutes until the software is totally removed from your computer. A, re a restart will be needed once the installation is completed so that you can use your computer as normal. The installation is quite straightforward, so it usually doesn't take more than 10 minutes. I will just go ahead and click here. I don't want to restart now and we can go and click on the search tab and type control panel. What we are going to do now, we are just going to check if really the antivirus has been removed from my computer. Again, view by category, programs, and, and install a program, and click anywhere. Press the, or press the key N or the letter N in your keyboard. And if you cannot find Norton, then it has been removed from my computer. Once you are done, you can just restart your computer to make the changes applied. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you are stuck or still facing problems with it, just write us a comment with the error code which you are getting and we will do our best to help you. If you would like to encourage us, you can always press like and share and also do not forget to subscribe to get our latest video. Thank you guys for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.